Right, so here's a pointing book tool aerial that I've ordered. Um, get out of the bag if I can while I'm on camera. I've opened the bag but I've not opened the box. Bought it from um, oh. broadbandbuyer.com and it cost me roughly a ten or less than most other places. I think in total it cost me um, 53 quid. So, instructions, user guide, and obviously the aerial. I think there are some uh, other bits. Some mounting plates, so depending on how you're mounting it. And an extension to the thread on the bottom. This is the thread a bit here. Depending on which, on what depth your roof lining is, etc. So I'll be having a look at that. I'm going to remove the old status aerial, hopefully. This will cover where the old status aerial is. That's the plan. Right, I decided before I go any further that just to make sure I cover every aspect of this, I'll look at this um, threaded bar underneath this plastic threaded tube to get an idea of how it fixes in total. Right, so there's 3M double sided uh, tape there. They always say that that's enough to keep water out, but uh, I think I've got my own view on that. I'll probably seal around it a bit. And then, as I say in this accessory bag, yeah, yeah, there's a extended threaded tube, which I think I'll probably need to get through motor on roof. And I'm going to put it in the wardrobe where my aerial is. So I'm going to remove the aerial and thread the cable down there. That's the plan. Again. <laughs> Probably take away from where the status aerial is, take live. But we'll see. Everything's changeable. As yet, I've not got a, a my fi Wi-Fi uh, unit. I've ordered one from um, Ali Express, whatever it's called, and hopefully it's a cheap one, but it takes some time to come. Hopefully that'll be good. And uh, yeah, but first of all, we'll get the uh, pup tool fitted. Right, so I'm here now. About to remove the status aerial. Got a few bits of tools ready. I think I'll need, but I'm sure there'll be something I forgot. That's it. It's just a nailed nut to undo to remove the aerial. And then I think there's these four screws in top. Four in bottom, so when I remove these, I'll come back. Right, the screws are out. I had to go and get me a uh, screwdriver, <laughs> quite a bit easier with that, though. Longer screws than I thought. So let's now have a go. Trying to remove this.
Well, as you can see, it's a bit stuck, so I'll get back to you in a minute when I've uh, got two hands at it. Right, I managed to free it, well, more or less. A little bit more swaying. And there we go. I'm just going to clean this off now. And uh, we're all set to install puck. We've got some alcohol wipe and some cleaner renovator, slightly abrasive. So it won't be long. Right, I've removed the old aerial mountains and prepped the area best I can. Um, it's clean and uh, I've used some isoprol on it to uh, clear it off. Now it's a case of feeding down the puck. I'll have to fetch it back out, but I'm just checking it covers everything. Yeah, brilliant. Once I get it central, it'll cover these screw holes just about, and then a bead of mastic round, and I'll be able to tell. Brilliant job. Take it down with the tape and I'll put a bit of masking tape around so I'm just going to put a line of sicker flex around edges where the screw holes are just poking a bit, poking through and that'll just make sure it's sealed. Perfect job. Right, I don't know if this will show up on video but I've had to use a plate on the inside just a 2mm aluminium plate to cover more at all and then just tighten this nail nut up, just finger tight to pull it down onto 3M tape well that's it um, fitted and a bead of sealant round it happy with that I wanted to put sealant round it apart from screw holes were just slightly poking out from underneath it from status aerial I think the 3 amp pad's good enough, but there you go. All done. And a lot better than that big aerial on it. Right, that's the uh, finished job inside. I've lit it up now so you can see. And that was a make up washer that um, was um, obtained, I think, from eBay. I'll try and put a link on for them. Perfect size. Cable's now ready for when I get a router. A SIM card router. Super job. 